Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal. So, don't be mad at me. I know it's been like forever, um, but here I am now. I know my makeup's like maybe a little distracting, very vivid. Um, yeah, I just got to playing on Facebook Live and did a makeup tutorial and it went like oh my gosh, overboard. So, this isn't naturally like what I would do, but kind of liking it. Kind of digging it a little bit. So, anyways, this is my, are you ready for this? 29 week pregnancy update. I know. I know what you're thinking. Like, we haven't got an update since 20 weeks. Please forgive me, okay? Please forgive me. I'm really bad about it. Like, I'm really bad about just coming on and saying, like, how things have been. Because I guess I kind of get stuck. And I'm like, I don't know what to say, you know. So, bear with me if I kind of stumble over things. I'm going to try to give you the the good. Okay? <laughs> I've been doing good, though. I am 29 weeks. Um, it is still a little girl. Um let's see i have had scan after scan after scan after scan because you know they have to get you in like certain positions and they have to get certain pictures of her and so every time i would go they'd be like well we got every single picture except for this one but it was also very exciting still so i had one at 20 weeks one at 24 weeks and then one at 28 weeks too um, and she's doing so good. Like, I love it. I love being able to see her. And then on the 15th coming up, I have a growth scan. So, um, we'll see how she's doing growing. Last time we checked, she was in the 65th percentile. And, um, so, yeah, that means, like, I think that she's measuring, like, a week early or something like that. Guys, I can't believe in 11 weeks I'm going to be holding my baby girl. That is crazy to me. Like, after 14 years of trying, after 14 years of believing God, and, you know, just pushing through all of the opposition, not listening to the doctors, not letting them be the determining factor, I am going to be holding my baby girl in 11 weeks. If you are believing God for anything, I don't care if it's a spouse, I don't care if it's a child, whatever you're believing God for, do not allow what the doctors say, what other people say to deter you. I even have people in my family, you know, not necessarily trying to discourage me, but they were saying stuff like, why don't you just adopt? Why don't you let somebody be a surrogate mother? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And they had all these options because they did. They stopped believing with me. They stopped believing that the miraculous would happen. They stopped believing that God could open my womb. You know, and one thing is that I never allowed my confession to change. I never said, oh, I don't think I'm going to have kids. I never let that come out of my mouth. So, you know, just... If you're believing God for something, stand on what you're believing God for with an assurance. And not just in your um, not just in your words around people, but your words around your spouse. You know, because we plant seeds with our words. So just be on fire with the word that God has given you, with that desire that's in your heart to for that thing to manifest. But anyways, side note. Um, <laughs> Um, so every time that I go to the doctor, her heart rate's around like 155, so I haven't really had any scares. I did go to labor and delivery once because I was having, um, um, I was feeling really, really weird. Found out I was dehydrated, my blood pressure was super low, so they just kept me for a little bit just to kind of monitor me. Um, but other than that, everything has been really, really good. Um, I still have morning sickness. Um, not just morning, like all throughout the day. She likes what she likes, okay? That's the end of it. Like, I can't, I can't eat what I want, okay? I, I can't even eat chocolate now. Like, I love chocolate. She does not like chocolate. Or she doesn't want mama to have it. Because every time I eat it, I throw up. Um, I throw up, like, pretty much every single day, just to be honest. Which kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. Um... I am, um, let's see, I started out at 317 pounds 
according to the doctor, and now I'm 331, so you can do the math, that's how much I've gained, um, I have, I do have baby bump pictures, I'm huge, okay, I'm not gonna stand up, because, just to be honest, I'm not necessarily decent, decent from the shirt down, <laughs> so, can't stand up and show you my bump, but you will see on pictures, um, let me see what else, um, she kicks a lot, I feel her kick, my husband had his hand on my stomach the other day, and, uh, <laughs> he said to me, he said, um, I said, oh, did you feel that, he said, yeah, he said, do you have gas, and I said, no, that was her kicking, <laughs> so, he has actually felt her kick, which is awesome, um, let me see, what else, I've, I've been nesting like crazy, like, this wall behind me, that's her wall. Those necklaces, I made those for her. So, you know, and I've made her tons of bows because I do make bows and necklaces now. Um, I am doing a whole wall uh, for her crib that has like a wooden rustic type feel. So, I'm, I've been working on that and oh my gosh. I've actually, instead of just redecorating her room, I've redecorated the whole house. I've painted, guys. Okay, okay, I know. You shouldn't be painting while you're pregnant. My doctor said it's okay, all right? And it was well ventilated. Um, anyways, I will go ahead and tell y'all, being plus size and pregnant is a little hard, okay? It's, it's hard. Like, it's hard for me to put on my socks. It's hard for me to put on my shoes. It's hard for me to put on my pants. <laughs> Like, I just, like, I get out of breath so easy. I even had somebody say something about that on my last YouTube video. They were like, I'm plus size too, but you probably should, you know, try to lose some weight for the baby. Just the FYI, I lost 70 pounds before I got pregnant, and I do plan to continue that even after I have her. So if you are concerned about my weight, don't be. I am very health conscious. Um... So yeah, you don't have to be worried about my weight, okay? You don't have to be worried about this double chin. I'll be just fine. Um, anywho, what else? Um, I have went ahead and went on maternity leave because I do have pregnancy-induced carpal tunnel syndrome. So, that's another thing. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. My husband's been super supportive, super good. Uh, oh, gosh. We're writing a book, okay? We're also writing a book, and it's called Our Journey North, and we are in the final phases of with our uh, writing coach, and so that's exciting. And then also TLC contacted us um, from the show Rattled, and they have asked us to be a part of their season three. Oh my gosh! So. We've already done our two casting calls. We're waiting on us to we're waiting on them to call us for the third part of it. And it's just something that we're being really prayerful about. Any opportunity, any avenue that we have to, you know, really just get our message out there and what God's done, of course we want to do that because that's what it's all about, is spreading the gospel. And so and spreading the good news and spreading our testimony and being an open book and being transparent. So we definitely want to do that but anyways i thank y'all for watching i'm sorry i'm not really good at updates i really i'm really not maybe i should start taking notes maybe if you want to put comments below on some things that you would like to see in my life um as far as my pregnancy goes we could do it that way um but other than that i appreciate y'all watching i love you guys so very much and i just appreciate your support appreciate you waiting on me everything's going good with us we only have 11 weeks guys and we're going to be holding our baby girl journey. Um, but And we're also going to be videoing that. And so that will come up on YouTube as well. But I love you guys so much. Um, please share this video. Please like it or dislike it. Whatever you feel like doing. And then subscribe if you haven't already. And I will do my best to keep you updated as much as possible. I love you guys so much. And I pray that you have an amazing 2018. Happy New Year, and I pray that God's blessings, His best, be with you. In Jesus' name, I love you guys.